what I saw Chloe doing yesterday. What? She was eating Play-Doh. <laughs> Ew. Ew! But guess who used to also eat Play-Doh when they were a little Ew. baby? You. suggesting that we want kids eating play-doh but just ask any preschool teacher kids eat play-doh they eat a lot of things they probably shouldn't so we want them to be eating things that they're ingesting they're actually not going to hurt their bodies necessarily so homemade play-doh this was inspired by my mother-in-law who's a preschool teacher hi there and she helped me work this recipe out. So for the recipe, in a pot over low heat, we're gonna do some water, one cup of water, and then we're gonna add some flour. And what could be easier than making homemade Play-Doh? It's a ton of fun. Half a cup of salt. It's gonna be so salty, the kids probably are not gonna wanna eat it. Cream of tartar. And some oil your regular vegetable oil. And all you're gonna do is stir this in your pot for about two to three minutes until it starts to come away from the sides. All right, just mix it up just like that. Well, then you're saying, well, I don't want white Play-Doh. My kid's gonna be like, I like the colored kind. So this is the opportunity where you can pull out fruits and vegetables. So today I got blueberry. We're going to make some beautiful bright blue. So all I did was take some frozen blueberries and I took the juice that was defrosted off with a few of the blueberries and I put them through a sieve so that chunky beautiful blue that you press through, that's what this is. And it's going to make it nice and blue. So if you want to do light blue, use a little bit. If you want dark blue, you're going to make, you want to use a little bit more. So just put in a few dollops. You could do raspberry, beet, Get creative with your colors. So while you're stirring like this, and what you're gonna do is see that beautiful swirl there. And I think I actually want mine even a little bit more blue. So I'm gonna use even a little bit more. And this is all natural. This is natural Play-Doh. It's a lot less expensive than anything that you could buy in a toy store. And it's a lot more fun. See, that's it. Now it's becoming a ball. All you need to do is let it cool, and I'm gonna get Mr. Muscles here to help me roll it and make it nice and elastic. And now Kenya is gonna use his muscles to roll it out. And what you wanna do is this just is just gonna give it some elasticity. This just makes it so, are you eating it? I need the blueberry one. Wants to eat the blueberry one. See, this is what Weelicious is all about. Getting your kids involved, getting them excited. Muscles! so that they have more fun. Because come on, what's more fun than homemade Play-Doh? Blueberry. You can get out cookie cutters, roll it out, make balls. Should we make a snowman with it? Yeah. I love that idea. Let's make a snowman with it. Different colors and keep your Play-Doh fresh. Zipper bags or Tupperware. That will retain its elasticity, Mommy. that soft We can make texture. different colors. We can make different colors. What a great idea. For more fast. The, big, the, the first one we're gonna make is little, right? Little snowman. Little. The big one. Big one. For more fast, fresh, and easy recipes like this and more, check out Relicious.com. No. Yes. No. Yeah. No. Play-Doh.